Hey, what's up everybody? Today I'm gonna to give you one tip that you can use to grow more tomatoes and less leaves on your tomato plants. Now, my tomatoes need to be pruned and staked again, but I'm not here to show you that today. What I am gonna tell you is how you can grow more tomatoes and less leaves by doing this one simple trick. All you're gonna do is go to your tomato plant and find your flowers. There's a tomato plant, it's got some flowers here. Now, if you've been a gardener for any amount of time, you know that uh, there's a lot of talk about lack of bees and, and pollination and all that. So what we're gonna do is help pollinate these flowers. And you can do it one of two ways. Now, I don't have a brush, but you could take a brush, like a small paint brush, and you could just I'm using this, this isn't, not a paintbrush, but you would just go in and you'd swirl it around in there, right? And that helps pollinate the flowers because tomato plants have everything it needs in the flower to create the tomato. Unlike a uh, cucumber plant or, so here, right, so, Here's, uh, here's one of my squash plants. So it has a male flower, and then it has female flower, and the female flower has the fruit. On a tomato plant, it has everything it needs uh, all in one spot. So what you could do is just take this and swirl it around. Let's see if we can get that to focus a little bit and you would swirl around. Or what I've been doing is you just take it and you just flick the flowers. Now one flower fell off and that's pollinated already. Once the flower's pollinated, then it's already, there's already a tomato growing. Right, so once it's pollinated, the flower will fall off. So all I do is just take and give it a little flick. And every day I come into my garden or every other day, and you just come in and you just flick the flowers and what you're doing is you're moving the pollen around so that it, it pollinates the flower and you do that on all your plants and you'll be growing more tomatoes and less leaves by the time your season's done you will be the envy of all your neighbors that have a garden and they're getting less tomatoes than you if you found this tip useful smash that like button and leave a comment below thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one